Inflammation is a host defense response to, to infection and injury. And, and, and the brain, like any other part of, of our body, uh, respond to this infection or injury by, by producing an inflammatory response as a way to protect itself and maybe to restore homeostasis and function. All CNS disease causes inflammation. So inflammation can take place when you have an acute injury like stroke or brain trauma. And we know that inflammation is also uh, uh, contributing to pathogenesis of, of chronic disease like Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease. And there is a recognition now that, that even mental disorders like depression have an inflammatory component. So inflammation can take place in, in, in these conditions as well. The problem with brain inflammation is that neurons are very susceptible to inflammation and inflammation contribute to neurodegeneration and, and the death of, of the neurons which is irreversible in the brain, which is the reason why inflammation is very dangerous. We can't fully recover from the damage caused by inflammation, but inflammation is known to promote repair mechanism within the brain, so there are some prospects of limited recovery in patients affected by CNS diseases.